Hey, what's going on YouTube? We're back today with a brand new video and today we're back with why Roblox is removing Robux from the game. But staying on topic, there are a lot of problems with the current way the game is being played and most of it stems from Robux. There are some fundamental problems with how Robux are being used. But first up, the first problem is that they're too hard to earn. So I am a fan for challenges just like everyone else. But having to play a game that's almost impossible just to earn a couple Robux is egregious. No one should have to play something that they cannot beat just to earn some Robux. I feel like they should be challenging to earn, but I feel like it should be obtainable. Right now, in the current state of Roblox, acquiring Robux is almost an unachievable dream and I don't feel like it should be that way. But next up, let's talk about how they're easy to buy. So I understand Robux being easy to buy because there needs to be an incentive for them to make money. The game is a business after all. but. I think they're unevenly in the favor for people willing to pay money because if you have the money for it, then you can have however much Robux you want, which makes sense. But like I said, they're hard to earn, so that's not possible for free to play players. You're severely limited and handicapped on how much Robux that you can have if you're not willing to shell out money on the game. But next up, let's talk about how the game's kind of becoming pay to win. So for the two reasons I've named, the unevenness and how you can obtain them, and for some other reasons, the game is kind of becoming pay to win. Let's say we're in a multiplayer game, and I purchase Robux and I get an item that gives me a direct advantage over you and now you cannot compete. The only way that you can compete would be for you to also purchase Robux to get that item. But then at that point, someone else can't compete with you. And whenever a new item comes out, the cycle repeats itself. And this is how they make a lot of their money, by making sure the paid players get the most advantage. This is making the game pay to win when it was never like this before. But next up, let's talk about how you can't afford items. So let's say in Adopt Me, there are super rare items. The game should go that if you want something, you should be able to save and then eventually be able to afford it. But that's just not realistic. Some items are so rare that you can't get them because it costs so much. Even if you pay money, you would have to pay almost $100 to get some of these items. That is completely not even realistic because that means you would have to play over 100 hours just to get one item. Who would want to do that? But last but not least, let's talk about boring minigames. So this is the biggest problem. Some of the easiest games to earn Robux are completely boring and a lot of people would play these games for hours just so they can earn some. But who wants to play something boring? Why would the developers of the game make your game boring because these are the only games that people are really playing? This doesn't make sense and I think they need to make it easier to earn that way people can go back to having fun on the game. But that's it guys. That's been the video. This has been why Roblox is removing Robux from the game. But like always, if you enjoy, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss out on our free Robux giveaway at the end of the month.